I believe leadership doesn't have to come with authority. It can be simple things like directing yourself or directing your friends around you or just giving hopes to them. I strongly believe in servant leadership because I constantly believe to be able to be there for them and understand what they are going through. I chose to go uh, IT and why not uh, me going back to O levels? It's because my passion for aviation, that's one interest. And another one would be uh, actually, I would like to change the stigma of IT student. So coming down here, I, I was hesitant at first, but I strongly believe where I stand and I believe that this would be a better path for me to be able to be more grounded and rooted to people around me. I first met Chen Bing when he was uh, actually in charge of a, a big project across the whole school, which is the Ace to Lead Camp in Night projects. When I first saw him during the camp, I was really, really blown off by the way you know a, a young 17 years old could really command and manage the camp so effectively. Yeah, and uh, he was so influential. He was so inspiring, and I thought that wow. This is somebody very special. I've never seen a student with that uh, qualities and that capabilities, you know, at a very young age. He's a senior now, he's in his second year, and I could see him walking around the campus with his junior, his year one, wherever he goes, because he believed in transferring knowledge, he believed in transferring his experiences to the juniors. When we entered ITE, and we were having some orientation games and stuff and just so coincidence he sit beside me and that's how I get to know him. He always tell me that don't care about what other people say, any bad things about you. Uh, and what, mo what matters most is how you look at yourself. That's why uh, I think he's a very good encourager. You have to seek first to understand then to be understood uh, attitude. And that's what makes all the teammates respect him that um, this leader is very understanding. And we, we, could, we cannot take advantage of him because he's so good that uh, we want to work and we want to achieve the same objective at the end of the day. Actually, in IT, I realised there is a lot of broken families. And through this, working with them closely, I actually realised that uh, they are real people, very real. And I believe everybody has their own setbacks and it's just how you go about dealing with it. Because I believe uh, everyone has their own control over their own emotion, no matter in whatever obstacles or whatever situation. Uh. And I believe we have the power to do so because we are all individuals of our own unique character. And some of the struggles I faced at home throughout my growing years actually made me be able to realise how real these people are and how I can relate to them and also be there for them as well. I came to the school when Serving was in Sec 2 and I was their softball teacher in charge and I became his form teacher in Sec 4. He faces a lot of challenges definitely. Um, being a counsellor, uh, juggling with softball, uh, you know, being the chairperson and also the FNN rep. Also, he has to juggle a lot of things but he never gave up and he will make time. He always complain that we don't have time, but he will make time for anybody or everybody who needs his help. And he will put his, his needs away and he will actually help first. Then he will get back to himself. In his leadership, he has shown servant leadership that is actually very rare. That he, he leads by example, which I think um, young leaders should really focus on that. I, I was very aimless even uh, during my secondary school years. So I only came to realise that I need to have a goal <laughs> when I met certain individuals along the way, like Aisha. So Aisha was really one of the person that influenced me a lot during my growing years. Sometimes I just need a reminder or a hey a alarm clock to tell me, hey, get back on track, you are out of focus. So this is where all the mentors come in place and actually get me back on track and keep me focused and driven. Everyone has their own setbacks in life. But I think no matter what setbacks in life they face, I would want to like show them that actually there is someone out there that is going through almost similar uh, difficulties like them, but they are able to pull through it no matter what. Lah. So I hope to be the inspiration figure or influential figure for them to also be able to look up for and keep them going at the same time. Yeah. Hi, I'm Zhen Ping. Mama Gandhi once said, 
the best way to find yourself is actually to lose yourself in the service of others. How have you served your community today? If my leadership story resonates with you, vote for me today.